This is Bo. This is how close he is. Isn't he precious? He's um he's uh was staring at me and um I put him right up, you know, like on like real close to me. And um anyway, so I'm, it's hard to film. I'm having a rough time. Actually I'm getting a better film, I think, of my poopsies. Come here, little buddy. Oh good, that's even better. Yeah, why don't you kinda scoot away a wee bit so I can get you better? Gosh, he's a love bug. He is a beautiful dog. Bo's really different. I'm going to probably put this on Bo's profile or something, but I want you to look at his fur. His fur is, um, we get one like this um, every litter. This is the silkiest, softest fur. This um, almost polar bear white. We, we don't get but one, maybe a litter. And it, very unusual. Very blonde and clean and doesn't hold any dirt. They were just outside in the rain. And look at this paw. Look how clean that little paw is. Isn't that sweet? And he's just so easy going. Let's me just handle him, however. But this is eight weeks old. Um, look at those big, gorgeous paws, though. How clean that is. See, they stay so clean. Um, these dogs have never had a bath yet. <laughs> no, not at all. Look how clean he is. He smells wonderful. Uh, one thing I love about Golden Doodles is how absolutely no no work they are. Um, you just tell them where to go, they go. You uh, shake them out, they get into something really nasty, you put them in a mud room or something, and then they, you, you, sometimes you don't have to bathe them if they even get into something horrific. It just falls right off. It's amazing. Their, their fur lets go. It has this like, um, shed, it, it, sh it just repels, it sheds the nasty right off into the floor. But this doesn't shed. Look at this. I mean, nothing. Nothing's coming out. He's just absolutely the perfect doggy. And he's such a love bug. Golly, what a wonderful pillow. You can't get better than this. It's like having a heating pad. Um, you know, but look how gentle he is. Don't even try to mouth me. So good. He's learning well. The only thing is, I have to admit, he is not coming when I call him. He looks over at his sister. And he is much more oriented to his, he's going to need a couple of days work on, or a day or work on that, because he won't come. I had to go drag his butt and get him back inside. But I guess that's kind of normal, you know. That's, he's excited, like, oh, we're outside, let's play. And he's loving it, and he's like, no, nah, I don't want to come back to bed. But that's kind of important that they do. And um, I potty them, they come back in, and... Honestly, I think they can go through the night. I don't think I have to get up at 4.30 in the morning to pee him. But wanted you to see this. This is Bo. He's just so cute. Yeah, that's not supposed to be. But you see, well, if this happens, okay, when he comes to your bed, all right, and you bring your, into your kids, okay, and say, good morning, or if the puppy's already in the room, make sure they have a Chewy in the bed. See, this isn't allowed. Not chewing, no, no, no bite, no bite, no bite. Let's go get a Chewy. Where's your Chewy? So I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to go get him. A little bone or a little um, rope toy, something that doesn't squeak. Lord help, don't get a squeaker. Squeakies, just if you're going back to bed, they'll keep you up all night. So you can't listen to a squeaky. Um, but absolutely a doll baby. He's just very obedient, wants to do, wants to please. But a little stubborn on that coming back in the house. It doesn't seem to understand at all when I say come home. His brain is like ADD. He doesn't like, nope, I'd rather not. I just want to hang out here and then, you know, I want to stay up here, Mama. I do. So we'll work on that, get him going on that. Everything else is perfect. Absolutely amazing doggy. I am beautiful. Yes, I am. Kiss the camera. Um, no. Um, no. I hope this is working. I can't see what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That's it. This is making me drunk. Ugh.